What's going on guys? It's Emma Martin again. Now today we're going over a new series we're starting called BNT Week Breakdown. Now this video will be your zero week. Probably the most important week to you because you're already wondering what you're going to be doing when you first get there, when you get off the bus, what you're going to be issued, this, that, and the other. We're here to help you. So we're going to give you the actual roster and schedule which we plan to do and then I'm going to throw in a little bit of personal taste so I can give you my experience. Now, don't go to your basic training and expect to do what I did, or what my cameraman did, or anything else. It can be different depending on your MTI. Every story is different. This is just you have a general idea. Just keep it in the back of your mind. So, I have the roster right here, and we're going to go over it one by one, and we're going to talk about it. Alright? So, it can be out of any kind of order. Just follow along. So, the first thing. The UCMJ, the Uniform Code of Military Justice. I would love for you guys to familiarize yourself with this now before you go to basic training. It's the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Now, what does that mean to you? It means because now you wear this fabric of freedom and you stand for this great nation, there are rules and regulations of things you can and cannot do as a military member. There are a lot of articles and a lot of different things covering a variety of topics. I can't go over all of them or else this video will be very long and I don't know them offhand. I know the ones that you generally need to know. That's about it. But for you, I looked them up generally. Things you're curious about and what you can and can't do, familiarize yourself. They'll be so much better off. All right. Next, airman's time. It'll become your favorite time in BMT, mainly because it's times when your MTI takes the campaign hat off and just becomes a staff tech master sergeant to you. Kind of like your mentor. Ask them questions. Pick their brain. They know a lot. They've been around. They're an MTI for a reason. They're good at what they do. That's why they're there. Pick their brain, talk to them when you have that time. It's gonna be your favorite time of BMT. Chapel orientation briefing, that's fantastic. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get shoved and back into the uh, back into the auditorium when you first arrive, right? When you all get your processing and whatnot. And one of the chaplains is gonna brief you and he's gonna talk about your religious rights. You still have rights, you're still a US citizen. So when you get there, you have you can mandatory attend church for two hours every Sunday if you so wish. You can attend classes. That is your right. They will reaffirm that. And your MTI cannot interfere with that by any means. If they try to, report it. Coping with stress in BMT. Now that is for me it was tied to my chaplain briefing. The commander will come in and basically say, Your life's gonna suck, you're all equally worthless, but you'll come out of it feeling so much better about yourself. It's basically it's just you just gotta deal with it. You, it's how coping, you know, things you can do to help you get through it. A lot, if you guys think of it this way, a lot of people do it. So can you. Okay, now there's a whole thing on here about your facing movements. I'm not gonna go over that because I have a separate video for that. Check the description or click the link right here. It'll go over it for you if you're really that curious if you haven't seen it yet. I highly advise you do. Future Char Runner. You just might be. Alright, now meals. Oh boy, you guys are gonna, you guys are only going to look forward to chow, I promise. The, the whole edgy procedure thing, so things to do. So, real quick, this is what a lot of people mess up on. When you're in line for the DFAC, only ever be sitting at attention, for God's sakes, and when you're sidestepping, head and eyes straight forward, none of this, 12 inches. And when you come out with your tray, no facing movements. That's how things drop. Okay? Once you have things in your hands, facing movements become non-existent to you. And then when you go to sit down, this is what you're going to do. You're going to find your chair, wherever it is you end up sitting. You're going to put your tray down, take off your elbow, put it around your chair or underneath it, stand at attention for three seconds, one, two, three, then sit down and eat. And then when you get up, you're going to get up, go back around your chair, web belt back on, pick it up, and then go out the lane you're assigned to go. There are lanes of which where you sit depends on how you get back to the, uh, the clipper, that's how they assign it. So, that's basically it. You'll learn all that, your MTI will cover it for you, and you'll get yelled at enough if you mess it up. And next, initial pay. Okay, so when you guys get there, you will have, um, you'll go to finance, and they'll set up you paying for all your first clothing issues, your ABUs, your boots, your parkas, everything. It's all gonna be covered for you. You're paying for it, get over it. And if you're gonna go through your finances, making sure it's linked to the right account, make sure you're getting paid, stuff like that. If you have problems about your payment, do not, not say anything. Speak up, you need money, trust me. It may not seem like it, but BMT is expensive if you're not careful. Just be smart, make sure you're getting paid, please. You're getting paid, I promise. All right, now we're back. I'm gonna touch on the previous topic on finance. 
If you sign a contract saying, I have these college semesters, I'm coming as an airman or an A1C, you are getting paid as an A1C and basic. You are. I promise you. That's how it works. If you are not, talk to your MTI, go to finance and fix it. That's money you earn, believe it or not. Next, body scanning. It's what it sounds like. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into this big machine. It's like some matrix kind of stuff. You're gonna stand in there. They're gonna scan your body for your blues, your baby U's, all that fun stuff. It's what it sounds like. It's basically it. All right, next, drug testing. You, you notice I'm disappointed. Why? People are dumb. Don't be that idiot who smokes weed for the last time, bro. We're going to basic trade. It's going to be great. Don't be dumb. You are getting pee tested. Marijuana, of all things, stays in your system for a long time. Guess what happens if you do that and you show up at basic training? Pretend you're on the end of my boot. You're gone. We do not tolerate that at all. All right? Do not be dumb. Please. It took you how long to get through MEPS in the depth, get your job, wait all that time. Don't be dumb. Please, we need good people, not dumb people. All right, next topic. Initial BX visit, awesome. Okay, so in your BMTSG, one second. Say hello to your new Bible, the BMTSG, Basic Military, Military Training Study Guide. It doesn't matter if you're a Christian, Jewish, Muslim, whatever floats your vessel, you are all now equally worthless. Congratulations. So, everything, this is your Bible, I promise you. You will reread it multiple times. Study it. Score well on your EOC. But in here, all right, on page 35, there's a list of all the things you will need to buy. I'm not gonna go over them. Each, what I suggest is this. Buy at least one of everything to your discretion, but don't buy things in bulk. Please, just don't do it. I know, I know you're getting paid, that's fantastic, but still. Optional items, optional, please. Mandatory, you need them, is what it says it's like. That's it, that's all you need. When you go there, just don't also, but one other thing, do not buy soda, caffeine, snacks, don't do it, it's tempting, it really is, it's all like right in your face, don't do it. You will get it reamed. I promise. All right, next thing, dorm application. Um, a dorm application, basically, you're gonna send your details. I will find a detail roster for you guys and I'll put it in the description because I don't know them offhand. The major ones that there are is latrine queen, ha, um, phasers to clean underneath the bed and all that, uh, day room crew, stuff like that. It's I had stairwell crew. Shoot for that, because you don't do anything. It's a good time. Next topic. Next topic. Student training time. You're gonna set up your locker and your stuff. Congrats. It's, where, it's all it is. You're just gonna work on your stuff. You're gonna learn a lot. Transit. It, it's confusing, but it literally just means you're marching somewhere. You're, you're, you have places to be. That's it. BMT arrival briefing. So what ended up happening to me was I was in the 323 training squadron led by Lieutenant Colonel Kinney as our commander. So what ended up happening was that in the big arena where you have your coin ceremony, there's a lot of like stone bleachers. In our civvies, no less, we were sat down on those bleachers as she briefed us. As in, welcome to BMT, this is your heritage in this squadron, your life is gonna suck, congrats. Welcome. That's it, that's all it is. She assures you though that as a trainee, you have rights and things that MTIs can and cannot do. If an MTI breaks a rule, report it just like you have rights and everything like that they are sworn to be professional at all times they have a creed just like the normal airmen do if they are not professional report it we have no time for people like that bmt pt program now this is tough because the bmt pro pt program changes drastically and i mean drastically so we actually me and my cameraman we tested the newest pt program in our six and seven week of training. And it got approved, it's going into rotation. Meaning that by the time you people watching this video are leaving, or even if you're leaving like say next week, it might be different. So I can't really go into a depth because I don't want to misinform you. It's basic stuff. You'll run a lot, you'll run a lot, some strength days, push-ups, pyramid push-ups, whatever. A lot of leg. That's it, just a lot of leg. Okay? 
first issue, basically everything. So, first issue night display had a, like, uh, we showed you how to show up a nice way for ABUs. Your shoes, the order, I can't say I remember offhand, but it's some specific that I can't think of. Remember, everything has to be flushed to the side of the bed. It's fantastic. You'll learn all of this. First issue wall locker, how to set up your wall locker before you get your booze and stuff. Fantastic. Security drawer. Don't forget to lock it. Holy crap. That'll get you recycled in a hurry, especially in upper weeks. End of bed display. Your towel, your um, laundry bag, and your wet belt when you go to bed. It's basically it. We showed you how you had to do it in our last video on how to fold your clothes. If you want to see it, go check it out. All right. Dust cover bed, how to make your bed. <laughs> Please be good at it and help your wingman because not everyone's good at it. I sucked. I got good at it eventually, but help your wingman. Marking your clothing. We showed you how to mark all your clothing again in the last video, but mark everything you had. People steal it, get it back. So that's expensive. Fire drill, showers, iron park roster, where are you use? Again, last one. Maybe we touched on before. Go watch it. It's on my channel. Everything else, it's literally what it sounds like. I don't really feel like I need to go into in depth. Shower, you're gonna shower. Be, be clean. Seattle letters, actually, that is how to, you're gonna get a little postcard saying, Mommy, Daddy, this is how I'm supposed to graduate high, I'm gonna graduate BMT. Come visit on this date. I love you. Bye. That's it. That's really it. That's all it really is. And then finally, then we're going at the very end here, and then I'm going to put on a reenactment for you of the day you get off the bus. It's going to be a little play. It's going to be fantastic. Squadron tour. Make sure you pay attention. Please, make sure you know where you're going. Because if you get lost, you have to call back to your CQ every two hours if you have an appointment. If you're lost you don't know where to go, Lord help you. And that's basically it. So that's everything that you basically do during your first week at Zero Week. But now I want to talk about or show you zero week, zero, zero night, as a matter of fact, getting off the bus and what to expect. It's going to be kind of like a reenactment, sort of, but trust me, it'll help you. No, you're not. 
Go. Look, you just did a great for one. 